oh boy. So we are in week five of the Whirlwind Take the Mask Off campaign. Uh, so this week's topic is diagnosis slash self-awareness. How does that impact masking? Uh, and so, you know, there's the diagnosis slash self-awareness because you know, I want to point out that I, you know, we're very aware and I'm very aware that in you know certain parts of the world, um, being able to have access to diagnosis uh, is an ext- is unavailable to many people or waits are extremely long. Uh, and so that can be very difficult uh, for our community, depending on where you live. Uh, so... You know, sometimes just self-diagnosis or just self-awareness, you know, learning, oh yes, you know, this is me or this might be me or this could explain things or this explains things. Uh, just having that ah, breath of fresh air moment um, can be really helpful. So for me, I was diagnosed at the age of 29 and I went a very large chunk of my life not knowing and What's kind of interesting in retrospect is looking back at masking and then, you know, diagnosis and then like pre-diagnosis and post-diagnosis, um, pre-diagnosis, a lot of the things that I had just naturally put away masking, uh, were, would be things that were like autistic behaviors like, uh, you know, rocking, um, stimming, and uh, just hiding when I misheard things or hiding uh, maybe if I was confused or um, hiding when I was uncomfortable. Um, All the things I was hiding just subconsciously, you know, before I was even diagnosed kind of bundled into this, this mask of things that was like, this is stuff you only do at home, this is stuff you do when nobody's around, like, you just don't do that in public, and that was this bucket, and then when I was diagnosed, before I even heard about masking, I kind of started to realize that a lot of things in this, that I had put in this unacceptable, socially unacceptable bucket, were actually things that kind of fell in with my diagnosis, um, And I mean, all of that kind of took a while to unpack. And I, and, but, 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 you know, what I realized is, you know, I'm not ashamed of my diagnosis and I'm not ashamed of me and who I am. And the diagnosis really kind of helped me to accept those parts of me more. Um, you know, because it's, the, you know, it's the good and the bad, you know, it, it all, it's a, it's a package deal. Everyone has their strengths and their weaknesses and their, you know, their, their flaws and their strengths, you know. Um, every single human has what they're good at and what they're bad at. And I'm good at a lot of things that I know people around me are not good at. And I'm bad at a lot of things uh, sometimes that other people find ridiculously easy. And that can be really, really frustrating. Uh, Really frustrating when you're struggling with something and everyone around you is like, how are you even struggling with this? I can do that in my sleep, you know. But, you know, it's okay because there are things that I could do in, in my sleep that, you know, a lot of people couldn't do. So... You know, we all, it's a take and give, and that's true with every single human. You know, we all have our strengths, we all have our weaknesses, we all, you know, are good at and bad at different things. That's why we kind of need each other to, like, support each other. So, uh, anyway, there's that. Um, but, you know, I, I, I and I'm, I'm just more aware of when I'm putting away, like, my autistic behaviors now because I didn't kind of have a name for them. I didn't know what they were. I was just like, these are the things you just don't do in front of people. (laughs) You know, that was literally it before I was diagnosed. Um, And now I kind of rather not spend time with people that need me to put so much of myself away, Uh, with the exception of work, because, you know, and Kieran brought up a really uh, interesting question he was asking about masking and work. Uh, so the Autistic Advocate, check out his
this blog. I don't know if it's up yet. Um, it probably will be up by the time this video goes up, if it's not up yet, or it's coming soon. You should follow him anyway. Um, but he was, we were at, he was trying to ask about work, and you know, I mask less at work in the way that you know, I ask more questions. I always have my aids that I need to take notes, and I always have my calendar. And I'm just really upfront when I don't understand something, and I just need to clarify. And I'm really good now at you know figuring out what questions I need to ask and what information I'm missing. Um, and when I was masking more, that was sometimes not as easy. Uh, and so that's gotten better. But I still mask at work in the way where it's like I'm not walking around talking to myself and I try to kind of be more still and if I'm stimming I'm being more quiet, discreet, uh, but I work from home a lot. I work from home a lot. I could not do that every day, seven days a week or five days a week and I just, I just couldn't. I couldn't and I don't. I, I've just, I've changed my lifestyle around a lot too. Um, and everything has just been a lot more clear, you know, since getting the information. It was just kind of like getting this guidebook to myself, and it was all of a sudden, it was like, ah, and so, in, you know, instead of trying to, like, hide my weaknesses or try to just really, just trying to beat them to death and improve them, now it's like I know where they are and I, I work on them in different ways or I find ways to, you know, supplement them, you know, like with my calendars and my visual schedules and, you know, checklists and task lists and just different things. You know, I have my sunglasses I wear in bright buildings and, you know, all these tools that I just never had before. So that's the main thing. Uh, for me, and that's just my personal experience. Uh, anyway, guys, I've been rambling a lot, and this is getting to be a little bit of a long video, so I'm gonna let you go. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I will know to do more like this one. Uh, and, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. <laughs>